We pray for Ukraine or Ukraine. trời đất vào xuân, ta gửi tình trên cánh lâm, bay về cõi thanh thang, có người đẹp như giấc ngủ. Why should one attain enlightenment through meditation? Is it possible to attain enlightenment through any other activity? Enlightenment is not through meditation. Meditation is only one part of the work to enlightenment. But without meditation, you couldn't be enlightened. But when you meditate, only you couldn't get enlightened either. You must be initiated. You must be opened. The inner wisdom must open. Then you get enlightened, not by meditation. But after the opening of the wisdom, you must nourish your wisdom and your enlightenment every day by the process of being quiet, to be quiet in order to perceive our wisdom and our own nature, to perceive the message from God. That is called meditation. Be it standing, sitting, lying down. So don't think you cross your legs like this and you get enlightenment. No, no, no. You have to be quiet to go within and perceive your own wisdom. And that is meditation. And if you haven't got the inborn wisdom, then it doesn't matter how you meditate for how long. It makes no difference and no use. 如何才能知道自己的言行和见解或经验是真正合于佛菩萨的见解和经验，而不是自己的妄见和幻想？哈、huh. ，这个我们可以知道。如果我们修行一个正确的法门，我们有方法可以分别真假。嗯，在印心的时候，师父会告诉你们怎么分别是真的佛、假的佛、真的境界或是幻想。不然的话，我们没办法知道。嗯 ，You wanna hear it or not? Yeah. The person asks like this: How do you discriminate between a real Buddha, real inner words, and illusion? How do you know if it is real or illusion when you meditate and you experience inner words? I say at the time of initiation, I tell you how to discriminate. There is a method to discriminate between a real and a false, and also. You have the master's protection, then you know. After enlightenment, you know. Hmm. 印心的时候，以后你会知道哪个是真的，哪个是假的。师傅都会告诉。The real master should tell you everything. Every setback, every hole on the road, every illusion, and every trick from the devils. If not, then she or he is not a real master, because he or she doesn't know himself. 如果成佛是许多上师共同。共有的经验，而且合于成佛本身的经验，为什么在佛法内有这么许多不同的法门？而且有许多方法是有矛盾之处，譬如显教可以显教吃素，密宗吃肉。嗯，这个不是佛的教理，而我们人的教理。佛走了以后，我们凡夫啊，乱猜乱修。乱法名很多方法，比方说，本来没有贤教，没有密教。贤是什么意思呢？贤是公开的，密就是不能泄露。那我们佛教本来有贤有密，师父法门也有贤有密。贤是什么东西啊？现在师父讲话那个是贤，密就是等一下师父不讲话，他们传给你个人的那个是密。并不是说因为你不能告诉别人，而别人没办法知道，听懂？就这里方便，你没办法了解师傅传给你什么，你不没办法知道你的等级呀、啊，你的寡位在哪里？这个是叫密，并不是说密众是密。那今天密众啊，他们都吃肉啊，因为他们无误解佛的。佛的教理，你们回去看《楞严经》《涅盘经》，任何经典都强调我们修佛道应该是素。任何人教人是肉，就是教魔的法。你们没有看《楞严经》啊？好，没有看《楞严经》的话，回去再看
，看《菩萨经》《梵王经》都讲一样的事情。如果不知道，可以看师傅为什么素食啊？那本书啊，那两少样本书都有讲，里面佛的经典都强调素素的。因为佛久了以后，大家都乱搞嘛，这个没办法。嗯，任何宗教都一样，名师走了以后，大家都乱搞。Mm, you also want to hear about that? <laughs> It is like this. The person asked me in Chinese. I'm sorry, if they asked in Chinese. The person asked me, if enlightenment is all the same, why is it the Buddhism became so many sects and so many different practices? Ah, 对不起，那个很多方法也不应该的，懂不懂？以后大家乱猜的。比方说那个密宗啊，很多饼干那种东西，本来佛教在印度没有啊。释迦牟尼佛坐在菩提山、菩提树的时候，他开悟，他没有送什么饼干，没有拜什么佛，是不是这样子啊？然后去到别个的地方啊，然后染一点点那边的本地的风俗和习惯，和那个宗教就变成这样了。释迦牟尼佛没有诵经，没有拜佛，没有。送那个那个什么奶油的饼干，像那个米粽一样没有啊？他在做这样子打坐就成佛、啊，看星星成佛，看里面的星星。所以现在很多宗派很多那个法门呢、啊，不是佛教的啦，都是后来的人法名了解吗？是、yeah. ，It's like this. He asked me if the enlightenment is the same. Why is Buddhism, for example, divided into so many sects and some encourage eating vegetarian and some like the secret doctrine, the Lama they eat meat, and so many different methods of practice. My answer is this: the enlightenment and the methods are only one. After the death of the master, everything becomes topsy turvy and changed. Like for example, the Buddha when he sat under the Bodhi tree and meditated and saw the stars within, saw the light within, then he became enlightened. He did not bow to any images. He did not beat any drum. He did not light any candles. He did not offer any butter cakes like the secret sect, the Lama sect, they do. All these rituals and different methods came after the Buddha's nirvana. People lost. The lineage of、uh, enlightenment, and then they just invented something. Buddhism, after it came to Tibet, of course, took on the color of the national、uh, religion. The butter cakes and all the images, and so many different kinds of images and different kinds of color flags and all this. This is the Bon religion. This is the religion of the Tibetans, and after that, it influenced Buddhism, and then it mixed them together. So the same when Buddhism went to China, and then it adopted a lot of Taoist rituals. They would recite the mantra, they beat the drum, light the candles, and all that kind of thing. And these are not pure Buddhism. The pure Buddhism has nothing like that. So noisy. The Buddha sat under the Bodhi tree and became enlightened. He needed no candle, no cakes, no flower, no fruit, no outside rites and rituals. Is that not so? Mm. And the pure vegetarian diet is the Buddhist diet, because in all the sutras, the Buddha says you must eat vegetarian if you want to become a Buddha. Anyone who teaches that people eating meat can become a Buddha is teaching the doctrine of the devil. He says so clearly in the sutra, and in many sutras he says like that. So afterward, if someone eats flesh and still says he's a Buddhist, oh wow! I cannot do anything about that.、Hmm. Yes. I know of a temple that was built in Northern California. Yes.、Yeah. Yes. And、uh, it's a very famous place, very holy ground. Yeah. And they converted to eating meat during the construction of the temple for that reason, so that they had more energy. Also, they say what? They don't eat meat. They do eat. They oh yeah. In order to get more energy. Yes, for a period of five years. <laughs> And as far as I know, they're still on the pathway to enlightenment. Oh. And I've heard from another enlightened master who's not here in California that there's a power in eating meat that can help us repel a lot of the maybe evil spirits. <laughs> Then the Surangama Sutra is telling lies. Then Sakamoni is telling me a lie. The Surangama Sutra is the most reliable source of Buddhist scripture.
and the practice in scripture. If you read it, it is stated strongly, anyone who eats meat can attain the level of the Mara king, meaning the devil king only, or the devil subordinate, can never reach Buddhahood. Please go home and read it, and don't question me. I cannot help what the Buddha has said. That karma could not be transmuted by a Buddha? Oh, the Buddha says, whatever you sow, so shall you reap. The Buddha himself dare not transgress the material law. For example, if I go to a communist country, maybe I am a liberal country citizen, but when I go to a communist country, I have to abide by that law, whether I like it or not. If I don't, <laughs> yeah? So maybe in the Buddha land, there's no law, no bad, no evils. But here, whatever you sow, so shall you reap. Yeah, the law of karma, of course, and effect, everyone must obey. Therefore, the Buddha emphasized, oh, big shoes, don't eat any flesh of sentient beings, even the five kinds of clean flesh. Afterward, he strongly stated, I forbid you to eat from today any kind of meat whatsoever. It's not I who said it, it is the Buddha. These scriptures are translated into Tibetan, Vietnamese, Chinese, Japanese, into all kinds of languages. All kinds of languages I read, all kinds of say the same thing. So what shall I do about that? You may think they are enlightened. They may believe they are enlightened. But if you read the Surangama Sutra statement, you know their level of attainment. They are enlightened, yes, but not very high. Because you see, animals, people, have some kind of... Uh, their energies are heavier than ours. And the karma is heavier, therefore they are born as animal people. Now, if we borrow this kind of magnetic field to our magnetic field, we become more mixed with animal people's magnetic field. Of course, we cannot become higher. How is that logical? I'm sorry, after you get more enlightened, you will see who is enlightened. From some normal standpoint, it is difficult to recognize. But when your heavenly eyes open, you will see those who are so-called enlightened, who eat meat, their magnetic fields, their auras are mixed with black, brown, cafe spots. It's not clear, it's not beautiful, not light, it is dark. Then you will know. I'm sorry, it is like that. What is the opposite force of enlightenment, and what is its purpose in the final outcome? The opposite force of enlightenment is unenlightenment. <laughs> it's the force of darkness. It's the force of obstructions. It can hinder us in many ways and make us ignorant, and it cannot make us visit the pure land, the land of the Most High. The purpose in the final outcome you are liberated. You no longer fear death and life. You know everything in the universe. That's the outcome of enlightenment. You can save sentient beings. And I meant, uh, what is the purpose of the opposite force in the final outcome of everything? Oh, you mean what's the purpose of the negative force? Yeah. Ah, ha, ha. And the final outcome of the struggle between the two. Is that right? Yeah, what's the purpose of the negative force? Oh, it is to strengthen us. It is like without water, we cannot learn how to swim. Like ground? Yeah. Without any complicated highway rules of driving, you cannot keep the order of the society. You cannot learn how to drive well. So all these temptations from the negative force are for us to overcome it, that we should resist it and become stronger and stronger, stronger in will and stronger in power. Understand? That's it. Thua trời đất vào xuân Tình yêu vỡ lòng trên giấy mới Lời thơ phơi phơi Bay về vũ sơn Bàn lòng như chảy hồi